anytime during the show. Type Spectrum, leave a space, type in your contribution and name, then send it to 7197. Your views, our interviews on Spectrum, Radio 1 FM 90. A very warm welcome. This is Spectrum on Radio 1. I'm your host, Edmond Chizito. On Spectrum tonight, Colonel Gaddafi is killed as Dr. VSJ is barred from moving and as the NRM retreat moves to deal with internal politics. What are the implications of these events to Ugandans today? Well, we're going to be looking specifically at uh, the killing of Muammar Gaddafi. Thousands of Libyans are jubilating after the ex-leader was killed in battle in his hometown of Sirte. Reports indicate he was found lying in a, uh, hiding in a cave by forces of the NTC, that's the National Transitional Council, backed by NATO, which had carried out persistent aerial bombardment. The body of Gaddafi was undressed and dragged through the streets in Sirte amid jubilation by Libyans who accused him of having been a tyrant. The NTC, which had hoped to capture him alive for trial, says his death ushers in a new dawn in Libya. International leaders and organizations are, however, saying that the challenge of democratization in Libya has only begun. They have challenged the NTC not to renege on its promises. We're going to be looking at this. We'll also look at the arrest of uh, the house arrest of Dr. Chiza VSJ. He's complaining there's no food in the house anymore. People he sends out with baskets to the market can't access those markets. He's complained about that and other things. We'll be talking about those. We'll also be talking about the NRM retreat. After days of taking lectures on the economy, and unemployment. Tomorrow, the NRM retreat at Chemkwanzi will discuss the nature of politics in this country and internal operations of that party. It is expected that President Seven is likely to air out his anger and possible frustration about how the NRM MPs have conducted business in Parliament recently. Many people are concerned that the MPs are likely to lose the steam they have once they officially return from duty in Parliament. Our guests tonight. Honorable Betty Olive Namisango Kamia, President of the Uganda Federal Alliance. You're most welcome, Honorable Kamia. Thank you. We're also joined by Mr. Ladislas Rakafuzi, human rights lawyer, uh, also senior partner in Rakafuzi and Company Advocates. You're most welcome, Mr. Rakafuzi. Thank you. We're also joined by Mr. Chinjago, Deputy Principal Private Secretary to the President. You're most welcome, Mr. Nyago. Thank you, Edmond. Honorable Kamia, the killing of Gaddafi, what, where were you, the, like the famous saying is, where were you when you heard the news and what was your immediate reaction? I was actually just um, driving in from Masaka um, this, after, this, uh, this, this afternoon and um, I found people at home who were watching TV, you know, they told me about it. And so I, I just learned about it this afternoon. What was your reaction? Shock, surprise. Not that uh, it was unexpected, um, but definitely it was um, it was shocking. It was also surprising. It was also, I mean, he got off his big fish. Right? Mm. His killing. Kind of incredible. It's, it's incredible, almost incredible. Mm. It makes you think about life, and what it's all about, and conflict and power and. And all these petty arguments that we have that we could lose just like that, and um, it, it, it opens up a whole um, spectrum of uh, soul searching. But uh, more importantly, maybe I don't know that I should be discussing this at this time. After that, all that has settled down, then I kind of have a stale taste in my mouth. I got a stale taste in my mouth. Yes. I would, could not join uh, people celebrating. Yes. And I've just come from Makere University. The students have organized, um, the, the councillor, uh, Bernard Riga, has organized a big uh, dialogue for students and they invited me to share with them my views on the role of students in the promotion of uh, democracy and constitutionalism. And uh, one student went up and said we must celebrate the death of Gaddafi and da 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 and you know it was a very eloquent speaker and very powerful speaker and um, some people clapped, lot of people clapped. But for me You really, don't share that joy, that jubilation. No, it leaves a bitter it leaves a stale test in my mouth. Right. Because um, I'm thinking whose victory right. really is it? Whose victory? Is it the victory of Libyans? Is it the victory of someone else? And what does the future hold? 
All right, of course you are right. That's your personal feeling. Uh, and some people think the death of anyone really should not be celebrated. She's the president you know, of a party. Yes, it should not be celebrated. But Gaddafi stood, he was a unique person. No, de death can't be celebrated. There are deaths I can celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure there are deaths that I could do. Uh, I could celebrate. I'm somebody like Kajubi who goes and cuts yes. people off kids' heads. And, it's not and you don't think Gaddafi could fall in that category? No, he could. But I'm thinking about who is. If I celebrate Kajubi's death, it's like uh, no more kids will be. But with Gaddafi, it is, um, it's like whose who's victory? And also. After asking whose victory, the next one will be. Um, it, it, it's all. It's it's all within the context of the second scramble for Africa. That scares Mr. me. Mr. <coughs> Rockefeller, let's see your views. She mentioned uh, your reflections about life, hmm. power, and conflict. What's your view? <coughs> what kind of thoughts come to your mind when you see an event like this? It's what kind of thing you see once in two generations. Well, <coughs> I saw Gaddafi's body. The picture of Gaddafi is brought on TV. Um, he looked so peaceful and harmless. He can no longer shoot. He can no longer make orders that he, people be shot. And he, he can no longer call people rats. He was so peaceful. But you know, um, Chino Achebe's things fall apart. Uh, there was that uh, famous character. Unoka, who said that he, when he saw a dead body, he saw the folly of not eating. You know, the, 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 you see, yes. the person who will never eat again, you know, that kind of thing. All right. So, life is a, a, the sum of the total forces that resist death. Now, when you are born, you suckle your mother's breast to keep yourself alive. Yes. So whatever you do is to keep alive. That's true. And I think all death, even in the, even if you died in your sleep in old age, I think all death is, to some extent, is shameful because it's a, it's a kind of a lost struggle. You know, although it is inevitable, it must happen. But it's a kind of a loss of a struggle, right? Uh, which, which will happen to us <coughs> but if the time it comes. Let's look at there's, that, there's, there's that, that kind of folly. So, in other words, you see all the forces that made up his life, um, the tanks, the mix, and everything. Some of them are still lying unused, but he's gone. So. Um, it is terrible. But you see, my sister here says for her, she cannot celebrate. Even me, I wouldn't. Um, reason is that he, even his overthrow enough was, his overthrow was, was, was enough. Right. Um, but now this is more humiliation. Um, the Baganda have said that you know to Kumega and Ati Urume. Right. Um, so, in other words, he, he, they should have forgiven him. Not really, mm -hmm. not really. But he, the second blow, the, the last blow, was was really too much. Well, but he seemed to open himself to it. His children are being killed. If one yes, one. he did. He did, and it seems he he really anticipated he it. He kind of invited. He, it. he kind of invited it, and it seems he thought that he, a man like him, a man of courage, would rather die fighting. Yeah. Mr. Chintunyago, you know when the Twin Towers were bombed, Andrew Card moved to tell George Bush. Uh, how's our president heard about this? We know he's in a retreat. So. Hmm. How's our president heard about this? I'm sure he has, but uh, you can't compare the two. One was uh, unknocked by uh, terrorists attacking uh, America, killing civilians. And uh, Gaddafi's uh, death is rather different. It's a war. And uh, you know, Resolution 1973, which took NATO to Libya, talks about protecting civilians. Um, I would imagine that in the city or town or village where Gaddafi died, there were civilians. And from what I've been gathering, from what the international community has been gathering, the rebels and NATO enforced a scorched earth policy, hmm? destroying the city brick by brick. 
hospitals are filled up with dead and wounded. N nobody's, no, 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 the yes, UN Security Council is mum. Yes. Uh, NATO is mum. Well, possibly Amnesty International. But I mean, people. So the question is are the civilians in Citra different from those in, say, Benghazi? Because for the last two, three, four, one month, there's been heavy fighting. And street by street fighting, destroying the city brick by brick. And but nobody is. Uh, so, and 1973 talks about the UN that protecting civilians. So, are, though, are there no civilians in, in Citri? That's just the question. I, I can see double standards. Secondly, if you're fighting to introduce a culture of human rights, is are summary executions the kind of uh, code of conduct that the new regime in Tripoli is going to be uh, introducing? You mean ex executing Gaddafi summary? Gaddafi, the picture I saw had a, had a bullet in the head. And so then the first, the first, I didn't talk when you're talking. The first, uh, the first, uh, the first information we had for about an hour was that Gaddafi was captured alive. I'm sure you heard about that. Yes, he was shot in the legs. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That he was got in a, in a hole. Yes, just like uh, Saddam. That's what they were told. Yes. So, but I mean, information would come out later. But the point is, I think the rule of law, or due process, or whatever they call it, is that you only get, uh, you know, it's, the, it's the courts of law that determines someone is killed. Right. You see. So I think they should have spared him. I'm not saying that. They should have taken him to court. They shouldn't have killed him that way, in right. case they did. Right. You see, that's the point. And you're saying it looks like they killed him, because the first information was that he was shot with both legs, and then he pleaded, don't kill me, don't that's kill me. That's what they're told. And, and then somebody mentioned that shot. he was given, Gaddafi gave him his golden pistol. Right. That's what they said on the BBC. Just like Saddam Hussein tried to do. Well, but the point I'm trying to make is that even, regardless of who it is, I think the, the, the culture of human rights that people are supposed, the, human, the UN is supposed to stand for. Right. People are supposed to be given uh, to face due process, right. regardless of what you feel about them. Mm. All right. And then secondly, cities, I mean, are there no civilians in Citri? Some have been dying. And, they, and the black people who have been killed, any black man in Libya now is called a mercenary. Where, where, were they the ones fighting in Citri, for example? Mm. In fact, we were told that it's mercenaries that are protecting Gaddafi. Is that true? Honorable Betty Kamia, let's look at the reports that are likely to go around the world and specifically in Africa mm. where we have, uh, you know, some people have stayed too long in power. Mm. Uh, that's, that's where we draw most parallels with Gaddafi. Mm. Uh, Eduardo dos Santos, his name is successor for next year, ostensibly, and other places. What kind of reports can we expect? Uh, first of all, for me, I don't think that we should uh, rule the new world order out of this whole thing. The new world order meaning um, the new scramble mm -hmm. for Africa and world resources, the new power struggle between, say, um, world powers, China, the other leaders, the scramble for, 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 for <coughs> um, influence around the world. Um, you, I, I don't think that we can take those issues out of out of this context, they are part and parcel of this context. That I remember when um, uh, when Gaddafi first fell, when Tripoli first fell, David Cameron cut short his trip. He was traveling somewhere. Yes. He rushed back home. He David, was in Africa. Actually. He was in Africa. When Tripoli fell, David Cameron rushed back home with Sarkozy, I think they met, they had a, 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 a very, you know, quick meeting yes. and, uh, and uh, Hillary Clinton. Then just before Tripoli fell, I, I think Hillary Clinton was saying, Gaddafi must there. go. Yeah, uh, Gaddafi must go. So really, while we talk about this, you know, Africans must know mm -hmm. that those two, this was not entirely Libya's war. Or the war for Libya. Well, some people think there was an the end whether it goes, whether, it, the, whether, it, whether the end justifies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like your stepmom dies, your cruel stepmom dies, right. and you celebrate, not knowing that your father has lined up <laughs> another even step more cruel mother. stepmother. Who could, worse. <laughs> who, could, who could even be worse? Right. You know, or you, your, your cruel father dies, and then your 
stepfather, somebody who's going to be your cruel stepfather shows up. Shows up. And you, you, I mean, those are the kinds of situation that the Libyans and Africans in general we find ourselves in. Who's war? Right. And is NATO <laughs> going to guarantee, therefore, democracy right. in, 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 in Libya? Or are they just going to walk away as they did in, a, in, in, in Iraq? Uh, can democracy be shot <laughs> in an area? Can, in, 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 in a country? Are they just going to celebrate? Are the Libyans celebrating that now democracy has been shot? In Libya, I mean, there are many things that we have to think about. Well, we manage, Uganda has got democracy out of being shot into place. D it was ushered in too. Yeah, it was brought in <laughs> through the barrel of the gun. Mm -hmm. It seems to be succeeding. I could, I could. Yes, Mr. Uh, you know, the point I think uh, the Honorable uh, Secretary, uh, the, the President General of um, the Federal Party, Federal Alliance, is pointing is that you cannot use, uh, um, no matter how good willed, uh, the, well, it's not usual to use foreigners to introduce, because democracy means ownership. Yes. Now, if it's cruise missiles by, say, the American Sixth Fleet and the Royal Air Force and uh, just name all those people. I mean, they, they bombarded Libya to a pulp. Yes. <laughs> I mean, whenever they pulled out, they would run, those uh, people in power now would run away like chicken, at, at least on Al Jazeera, that's how I used to see it. But it's Libya, it's uh, NATO that really played the critical factor. Right. Even the, it's claimed that there was a convoy living Syria this morning, which was bombarded by NATO, in which Gaddafi was. Right. So the difference between what happened in Libya and what happened, for instance, in Uganda or in America, when George Washington led the Patriots, but in, even but in America they even had French uh, for support, General Lafayette and others. But in Uganda, this or the war, French Revolution. No, no, but uh, or the French Revolution. Yes, yeah. that was internally uh, exactly. French. Mm. Is that in Uganda uh, we didn't have uh, NATO in uh, in Luweero Triangle? For the civil war, mainly Ugandan civil war. But there was uh, Well, the good no, this thing started in 1978. You see, you do not. No, let me finish up my point. No, this You see, this war started in 1978. Hmm. You see, yeah. so yeah. the seven should not claim that he fought alone. is the one who, who came here, overthrew Amin. Sure. So. Came with Obote, uh, 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 I mean, came with Obote, came with Obote, and M7, they split, you see, yes. M7 fought the person he came with here, yes. Yes. Obote, and took over power. But you cannot say that M7 was not assisted from outside. Secondly, no, I think even, 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 yes, even, uh, we know very well, M7 himself, himself has said it, that Gaddafi helped him. So did the Gaddafi own that victory? No, 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 no. The point is, I mean, a few AK-47, I mean, was it 200 AK-47? I mean, that didn't really make the difference. It was entirely Uganda. How about the 1979 war? Uh, well, that's not what brought him to power, as, well, it, as you may remember. Well, it's uh -huh. not what the U.S. Uh, uh, the 1972 and 3. No, no, no. Really, really. 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 We are, we are making here mm. is that there was a heavy dose exactly. of NATO interest yes. more yes. than yes. I mean you, you could not yes. you could not belie you could not yes. uh, um, neglect the, the, the European interest. It's a truism. Let's get it. Let's get it. Mm. Do you think they would have overthrown Gaddafi if the NATO had not come in? I think it would have been hard. Would Even NATO out. had uh, the one for their been. money. Would that be the I think that the war would have been more bad. You see, let me tell you, those people were very determined. Those people are very determined. The, the liberals are very determined to overthrow their man. Yes. And uh, let me tell you, 42 years is a very long period. And right. there must be an end to everything, to everything. You see, you cannot rule people forever. So you cannot say that because NATO came, that's why the, the, the man went. But the, the bitterness that was already there, the undercurrent, I think was very big. But you think NATO is being insensitive? It is being insensitive. No, 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 no. It is being well, insensitive. It is not true. I think it's NATO, academic. I think, no, no, not at all. I think NATO's involvement was critical. Not just uh, whatever, it was critical. And secondly, it emboldened these people. 
But I mean, being in power for long does not necessarily mean that because they are, they are indicators of Gaddafi's uh, contribution. I mean, I'm not saying he's a good man. Even I mean, literacy rate is eighty percent. Even I mean, had his contribution. Yes, literacy rate in Libya is eighty percent. All those people are, who are called rebels, they are either engineers or doctors. You see? Correct. No, uh, that's the point. You are, you are missing the point. point. Uh, Shintunyago. Yes, I want to <coughs> emphasize my point. I am not talking about involvement. Hmm. I am talking about interests. You know, well, but yes. that could be yes. a different If Libya gave Ugandan help, mm. you know, first Amin and then against Tanzania, that, uh, he was asked to help, okay? Mm. But I'm talking about the interest of NATO, of NATO yes, for in Libya. It, that them. is different from being asked to help <coughs> and you come to help. Because let me finish the point. Let me finish the point. Let me tell you this. Hmm? Let me tell you this. You see, even if Gaddafi was there, hmm. yeah, NATO would still suck that oil. You see, there, there was nothing Gaddafi was doing to stop the Europeans mm -hmm. from accessing mm -hmm. that oil. Oh, that is not true. No, 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 no. no. Okay. When, when, when Gaddafi, when Gaddafi hmm. went, can, came back, came back into the fold yes. of, of, of the West, you know, yes. how did he do it? He had to make a lot of sacrifices oh, and 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 whatever. And just about oil. Yes. Uh, let me make a contribution. Yes. The fact is this. <coughs> Before Gaddafi came to power, Gaddafi, Libya was a typical neo colony. How? American bases. What was it called? World's base? Of, um, American, they had a, a sea base or the Mediterranean base. Yes. Their main Mediterranean base was in Libya. Secondly, the Libyans were that poor. There was hardly anything in Libya. And he changed that. Oh, yes. He did change that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the point is that in as much as even under Gaddafi, the oil was taken to the West, but the proceeds were, were, were owned by Libyans. That's why Libya, let me finish off, that's why Libya, for example, Gaddafi is the only person I've had, because in, in the Western capitals, in America, Gaddafi has 30, 30 billion dollars. That's true. 30 billion. I think it's 20 billion. It's billion. Less than like and about 150 even billion dollars in Western capital markets. Yes. There's hardly any other person I've had who has been removed from power. With, that's not Gaddafi's personal money. True. Or tropical Arab is not Gaddafi's personal yes, estate. Yes. Or national housing is not Gaddafi. So that shows you that he were, they were a nationalist project, project. That's true. I mean, he may have his excesses, but they are excellent good things. And what they want now, the first thing, the Sarkozy and were to take all contracts. That's what they did in Paris when Gaddafi when people fail. They, they have taken all the oil contracts and they are going to milk that country. For me, I don't want to. I'm not. I don't talk I think about, you have a about point the there. benefits of Gaddafi. Yes. And I think that uh, Libyans needed to get Gaddafi. Uh, out of office, yes. and maybe even through force of arms, yes. and that's not what I'm debating. What I'm debating, and what my concern, what leaves a bitter test, the bitter test in my mouth, is that there's Kangaroo a heavy dose of Western influence, and, and just it is not just about, and it is not just about oil. Gaddafi, please, Gaddafi was the only person actually who had who could stand up to to those people he eventually had sh yeah. shut down he, to the west no. no he had been shut down no 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 <coughs> I don't think I've been shut down. He had. I th he had been shut down. He had been shut down. He had been shut Just when you break up, I don't think you need to be. Uh, no, even before that. Just, just because, you know, when you when you retreat, it doesn't mean you're out. No, you're you can be planning something. Did he have values that you know, he would have loved, he would miss for no, no, I don't even want to talk about Gaddafi, the person. I am talking about the interests of the Europeans. Do you know? Is it for our interests? Is it for Libyan interests that they did this? Or is it another scramble for Africa? Mm -hmm. And does that guarantee? Are they going to guarantee democracy? And is that how they guarantee democracy in their own country? The is the same is of human rights. Uh, some people think on democracy is not such a terrible thing. <laughs> Spectrum on Radio One tonight. Colonel Gaddafi is killed as Dr. Vesey is barred from moving, and as the NRM retreat moves to deal with internal politics. What are the implications of these events to Ugandans today? We are going for a break. We'll be back. Then when we get back, we've spoken about Gaddafi. We'll talk about the house arrest of Dr. Chizabes. He says that people who leave his house with baskets to go to the market can't even go to find food for him. So there's a danger of starvation. That's what he just said. We'll be back. Do stay tuned. Is your internet provider turning your world upside down? <sighs> 
broadband company offers fast and reliable internet solutions. And for the first 100 subscribers this month, we offer zero connection fees. Save up to 400,000. For more information on these offers, call toll free 0800 222 Broadband company, more than you expect. <laughs> Strictly, no for sale to persons under 18 years.